In our last episode, we established that Peter knew his audience already understood what he meant when he promised them the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's examine that thought some more. You see, the Jews had no confusion about the work of the Spirit. They had no Armenian or Calvinistic concerns. They had no charismatic or non-charismatic controversies. There was no ambiguity between miraculous and ordinary non-miraculous works of the Spirit. They had the prophets and history of the Old Testament upon which to understand the Spirit. They had the biblical material this series has presented in our critical front-to-back approach. They had not one word of the New Testament. Not a single New Testament book had been written yet. None of them had ever read Romans 8. They had only what we know as the Old Testament. In those books, they had man's first encounter with the Holy Spirit in the prophetic abilities of Joseph, Genesis 41, 38, and a hundred more other spirit verses preceding the time of Acts 2, 38. The Old Testament is the totality of the understanding Peter's audience on Pentecost had. From that understanding, they knew the Spirit gave man prophetic abilities. They knew that was all he did for man. Peter does nothing to correct that understanding. In fact, his only basis for the work of the Spirit on that day is found in the prophecy Peter quoted from Joel 2, and its promise was only of prophecy, visions, and dreams.